Hello and welcome to the Musical Instrument Investigator. Today we're on the website of Anderson and Garland Auctioneers based in the UK and we're going to have a look at their latest auction which is the Music Auction. This has loads and loads of musical instruments and related stuff, 484 lots, that's a pretty crazy amount. We're going to try and blitz through this as quickly as possible and then only look at things which are really interesting but uh, may still take a bit of time. So this particular auction is finishing on the 2nd of November, it's the 22nd of October today so you've got a few days left to go, a good kind of 10 days or so. Um, buyer's premium on this auction is 30% which is fairly high so whatever the final hammer price is you have to pay 30% of that hammer price on top. This is a UK based auction so bear that in mind for import, export fees, shipping, CITES stuff, all of that fun stuff you can check all the terms at the top. Um, yeah just to say if you do enjoy these videos please consider subscribing, like or commenting because it really does help. Um, look out for the link to this auction in the video description. Without further ado let's just kind of crack on and see what we can find really because there is a lot of stuff so we have a whole load of accordions here we've got Veltmeister, Hona Verdi, Chanson, Settimio uh, Soprani, a Rossini there, a Cooperativa a piano accordion so a few there we've got the uh, concertinas here 48 button English system Lacanel classic one there another Lacanel 48 button uh, Lacanel the Ideophone 60 button English system that's interesting we don't usually see these so often numbered 46137 12 sided ebonized fret cut ends 5 division black leather bellows ok interesting so this must be quite a rare one there 1200 to 1800 as we've always said these uh, English concertinas always sell really well no matter what kind of type they are but I'm sure if this is a kind of rarer one that this will do quite well so interesting to see that I've got some Aulos recorders there Buffet crampon flute and an elk harp flute Bouzian Hawks clarinet another clarinet Selma clarinet nothing too crazy there Yamaha clarinet Blackwood clarinet J. Michael clarinet nothing crazy Hona bass harmonica there Interesting, a whole bunch of Hona harmonicas. Oh, a Hona harmonetta, that's interesting looking. 40 to 70, I've not uh, seen one of these before. Almost looks like a typewriter. Oh, that's cool. I yeah, quite like that, never seen one of those before, so that's good. Always nice to see something new in an auction. Ah, a 12th century style shawm with a metronome, interesting. That's curious. You definitely don't uh, see many of these around, so that's kind of interesting to see. That auction by Tom Johnson Stocksfield, and that is curious. Oh, that's an interesting change there. A York, a York curved soprano saxophone there. Saramanda tenor saxophone, Yamaha saxophone. Ah, uh, Selma. We always have to have a Selma saxophone. 1960s alto saxophone period case 4 to 5,000 always popular these Selma saxophones and almost always see one if there's some saxophone to sell court and tenor saxophone brass horn cornet sorry brass cornet by Joseph Wallace J Michael B flat French horn Besson B flat tenor trombone Boozing Hawks Bess in Westminster, another Booze in Hawks trombones there, nothing too crazy. Yamaha and a Baldwin trumpet, interesting. Mahogany duet stand, these are always quite popular as well. 80 to 120, that will probably do quite well, I think. Probably better than the estimate, these are always really popular. It's quite a nice one, actually. So, interesting to see that. A little Celtic harp, looks almost like an early music shop type thing. Of budget one Tanglewood concert ukulele. So look, some bows: three cello, one viola, and two violin bows. So you can have a look at all the pictures here. Picture is pretty good. We won't get into it too much, but doesn't look like anything super exciting. Whole load of bows here: six violin bows, five violin bows, more violin bows. Let's not get too into the weeds and some of these bows 
but uh, if you are interested in bows then have a look you never know there might be something interesting among them but uh, for the sake of time let's not uh, get into it now we've got some separate violin bows not a lot of info going on on these if we see anything interesting let's have a closer look stamped Vigneron three to four hundred they say on that not seeing anything super interesting so far they're being very vague on uh, the description there Bow stamped jazz tubs 150 to 200 probably a lot of speculative things uh, in this auction half size Hungarian golden strad cello we can ignore that let's have a look at this a German cello estimate 100 to 200 there We can have a look at the pictures a bit better doing this. Let's see if we've got any good images. Looks kind of like it needs a good bit of uh, work there. It could be an interesting shadow for someone, 100 to 200, the same probably Mittenwald. This is really quite interesting. 19th century English cello, they're saying. Three to five hundred. Pretty bonkers looking F holes there. Really curious looking thing there. Uh, nice kind of back to it though. Yeah, really interesting one this. Very curious. The scroll is amazing. A couple of bows. Actually, fairly nice looking bow there. Interesting head very sharp yeah curious very curious looking cello that one so that's an interesting lot Carl Hofner it's kind of a tradey cello Bassford Brothers cello 1989 English cello by John Bassford Sheffield 1989 okay 800 to 1200 with a couple of bows as well to see from the pictures okay let's go on to violins Roberto Delfanti violin 350 to 450 Cremona labelled 1995 okay interesting doesn't look especially uh, exciting I would say but you never know Check violin there, three quarters, seven eighth Dresden, German violin with decorated back. Let's have a look at this. Probably Mittenwald, 80 to 120 on this. Let's see what else we've got. Okay, interesting. Here you do see a few of those violins with this kind of decoration. I think this more likely fancy kind of semi trade violins continental violin do take your own time to have a look through all the lots I'm just kind of blitzing through really some of these things might be more interesting than I give them credit for but I'm just trying to blitz through Wolf Brothers violin there kind of trade thing let's have a look at this French violin cased Just fairly standard there. Let's see what the labelled Friedrich August glass. Okay, interesting. Guarneri copy violin in two cases. Excellent. Thirty to fifty pounds. Let's see. Just looks like fairly standard trade violin there. Continental violin. Interesting terminology definitely looks fairly standard there a couple of bows don't think it's anything too crazy there Yamaha electric violin another electric violin there German Strad violin early 20th century continental German Magini style good quality violin what does that actually mean 
labeled Marquis de Pose Lugdunum. Okay. Looks like some kind of French ish type violin there, not particularly exciting. German violin. 19th century German violin labelled Joseph or Duardi. Okay, 1000 to 1500 on that. That's fairly interesting violin. Probably one of the most interesting so far. Another German violin here. Continental violin, probably German. Pretty cool scroll on that. Pretty strange outline. Curious to see. Labelled Alphonsius Paolo. Interesting. German violin here. Let's have a look at that. Two to three hundred. Looks like your yeah, standard instrument there. Nothing too crazy. Keech Banjolele, Ozark, Banjo, Rally Banjo, Stag Banjo, Five String Banjo, Boston Mandolin, Ibanez Mandolin. Nothing crazy here. Ozark Bazooki. 1977 Fender Precision Bass Guitar, Kim Bradshaw, The Saints, 2-3000. to 3000. Okay, The Saints from Brisbane, Australia had a hit with their debut single, I'm Stranded, which was released in September 1976. Okay, this song is said to be one of the iconic singles of the era. The punk band famous in Australia toured in the UK with headline UK punk bands such as The Sex Pistols. There you go. So a bit of uh, interest there if you are interested in the punk band The Saints and it also if you like Fender bass guitars so two to three thousand on that doesn't seem a terrible estimate on that looks interesting enough Jose Ramirez classical guitar there Yamaha classical guitar well wow, really is quite a lot of lots in this auction a bit crazy right guitar technology travel guitar Martin D45 six to seven thousand on that 2001 Martin D45 627 looks like a nice guitar I feel that this is one of those auctions where it's just got too many lots and it's just gets a bit much really um, had this kind of discussion on message boards before that these auctions as soon as you start topping 300 lots much over 300 350 you really should just put it into two days it just gets a bit irritating otherwise washburn tanglewood another martin there treble 28 there three to five thousand 1929 nice looking guitar there we've got a whole load of pictures as well that's a bit of wear and tear but that's a nice instrument so some good stuff in this auction for sure. Early 1970s uh, Gibson SG2. Quite like these. These are quite cool. 3 to 500. That's pretty ridiculously low price. But what's going on? Oh, it's had a massive smash, hasn't it? Damage with the replaced tuners. That's had a pretty bad life, hasn't it? Interesting. Yeah, wow. That's, uh, <laughs> that's taking neck break to the next level. So that's an interesting one. But opportunity to get it cheap. Takamini, Golden Fifth Avenue, this is all pretty standard. Hutchins Retro, Fender Resonator there, Legacy, Martin X Series. I think we'll just have to move forward. Ibanez, Applause Commodore, Stag, Washburn, all fairly interesting stuff if you're in the market for guitars or travel guitars. All interesting. Contemporary uh, Hofner Club guitar, I had one of these actually. These are pretty cool. Yeah, nice looking guitars. Nice reissues of uh, the old ones. First Act, Sheridan, Ibanez, Hagstrom. I mean, there's on lots of guitars in this auction. Let's see what else, if there's anything super interesting. Like definitely have a look at the auction yourself and take your time because there's just a bit too 
many lots here we're looking for stuff which is a bit more interesting a bit more unique I suppose just seeing a lot of the same old stuff let's move on to the next page lots of guitars actually Dan Electro Aria let's have a look at this 1960s EKO 362V 250 to 350 on that. It's pretty odd guitars these ones. Looks in pretty good condition to be fair. It's quite an interesting one. I'm sure there's collectors of those. Let's have a look at this Parker P36. I always quite like Parkers. I thought they're pretty pretty interesting. This is a kind of telecaster version. I think this is after the company got bought out at some point and everything went a bit downhill bit of a weird model another Parker there Parker P44 Pro that's a bit nicer looking nice bridge on that one yeah that's pretty cool and it's signed nice spurs all locking, locking tuners on the back there why is it signed then let's see indistinctly signed <laughs> right fair enough no idea why it's signed but yeah they're pretty cool I quite like one of those one stage Taylor GS mini bass let's pull framers do 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 I do like the old Hofners Hofner president 1964 that's a nice guitar nice kind of air foils on that I do like these old Hofners are so not ashamed to say that I think they're really cool three to four hundred on that more squires and stuff. We've got amps, let's see, Vox, Fender 65 Twin. Nice. So we've got some drum bits here. Resonator bass drum, floor tom. Some rotor toms, that's interesting. Vintage snare drum there. Yeah, a whole load of different stuff. Timbales, bongos, Turkish drum, Quango drums. Wow, real collection here. That's curious. Concert times we don't usually see so many drums, so that's interesting to see. Interesting cinder music box. Oh, a jukebox, that's curious. Now on to more kind of pro audio ish stuff here, which I think is a little bit out of our remit. Uh, let's see if there's many more musical instruments or if we're into the pro audio zone. Let's see. There's a lot of pro audio stuff here. I think we're into memorabilia and stuff like that so we may be at the end of the uh, musical instruments here let's just double check I think so back to the final page yeah just a few things here okay well not so bad in the end not a crazy amount of musical instruments but other stuff kind of in there so there's a few hundred musical instruments uh, some interesting stuff I think just to summarize uh, some interesting concertinas there especially this ediophone one some standard kind of woodwinds this is interesting this 12th century style shawm you don't really often see those so that's good nice Selma saxophone I think a nice music stand some potential bows here I think um, very interesting this German cello this possibly English cello, definitely interesting on those. Maybe the Bassford cello. A couple of these violins look like they could use a bit further investigation, really. Some banjos and things, nothing too crazy. Then we've got, obviously, a whole load of guitars, really. That's the next bit. So there are a few interesting guitars here and there. Some older ones, some kind of slightly rarer ones. So it's definitely worth uh, looking at a bit more closely. We just took a very kind of quick overview um, and uh, yeah I think it's a good auction with definitely some potential uh, things so I do recommend that if you have the chance um, take your time unlike me <laughs> and uh, go through the auction thoroughly and see if there's anything that you like so I'll put the link in the description as always thanks a lot for watching and I'll catch you next time bye